Sometimes you got to reach hard to get the gas. You look good. Oh, thanks. And then she turned out to be federal agent. Nico, I have been working for the government. But what you gonna do? Always all Skibidi. Skibidi Zaza style. I hate all these words. On Riz, no cringe. I'm gonna tell you why this is the most base the GTA of all time. Without getting into cringe over analyzing the story, because that's for nerds. Been done a million times. Just about every character in the game is deeply flawed. Everybody's out to get you, especially the Russians. Brilliant. Just like in real life. Makes me feel at home. Right off the bat, Nico meets Vlad. He has anger issues and cucks Roman. Like, say what you like, but at least that guy knows how to speak to a lady. So we fucking kill him. I think I just came! The low poly models fucked up anti aliasing. How do you even pronounce that? Pictures instead of textures plastered to the walls add to nostalgia. This game has really realistic shooting mechanics. I remember terrorizing the city as a child. Targets get wounded and even beg to be spared. It makes it feel like you're shooting real people. Killing Vlad puts us at odds with the main protagonist, Dmitry Nerdikov, that's his real name, who is at this point still working for the fisting. Another, <laughs> another Russian with anger issues. Like so we fucking kill him too. <laughs> it's a vicious cycle. It's an ugly city, I guess. Nico came to Liberty City, lured in by promises of a better life, to chase that elusive American dream. It's a uh, very re 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 relatable. Though in my case, it was more like Western EU dream. Cutting through the Iron Curtain, hopping over that Berlin Wall, coming from a poorer country with no education will make you end up in a dog shit job, and if your country isn't an actual bombed out shithole, chances are you won't be better off. In Nico's case, he is coming from an actual bombed out shithole, Serbia reference. Being a veteran of the Balkan Wars, he doesn't know much about civilian life and ends up doing what he does best. Why do all this work? Because I need the money. And because I can't do anything else. And because I'm good at it. Sure. Drifting down the streets of Liberty City and trying not to fucking crush. <laughs> Driving in this game is insane. Acting as a freelance Uber driver slash hired murderer. Ruthlessly slaughtering whoever gets in his way. And occasionally helping someone. Like, you know, helping a poor fellow to dispose of his wife's dead body. Fuck my friend, will you? Huh? Well, who's laughing now, bitch? Huh? Not you, you fucking dead whore! Hey, buddy. Whoa, calm down! Hey, fuck you! Not before I kind of sprung, though. Killing and stealing for money. Liberty City turns out to be more like his home country than he originally thought. Immigrating can massively improve your life, but it's not guaranteed. You probably won't end up killing people, but you'll end up in McDonald's. Or fucking picking melons on a French field. Despite making a couple friends, at the end of the day, Iko can only rely on himself. He's a man on a mission. He's literally me. My witness has followed me my whole life. Everywhere. Bars and cars. Sidewalks, stores, everywhere. There's no escape. And God's the only man. After killing Mikhail Panzerfaustin, Nerdikov betrays us and burns down Roman's flat as well as the cab depot, causing us to move to a different part of the city where we work with the Irish, Italians, and some others. The world is not the way it seems! Chasing the check and ending up doing some work for the really cool intelligence guy who we're led to by the fucking fed of a girlfriend. I'm sorry that I lied to Shut you. Shut the fuck! In the game, we come in contact with people from various ethnic backgrounds. So I decided to rank them all. Starting off with Russians, I would give them an F. Next to Jamaicans. Yo, my bad deal for making. I don't understand a single word they're saying, so <coughs> Serbians, till this day, Niko Belic remains the only, the, the singular one based Serbian that's ever been alive. The Irish, you're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. <laughs> they're alright, I go, I'll give them an, an E. Italians, do you know the bada beep bada boop? Revenge was another reason for why Nico moved to US. Chasing ghosts of the past, a traitor who sold out his team back in the Balkans and got all of them killed, is brought to LC by the funny CIA or whatever guy. The traitor says he sold them out because they killed his neighbors. Goran, and this guy's killed my fucking neighbors! Because of what? Because of shit! Lies! 
fucking lies. And because he was offered a thousand dollars, pointing out Nico's hypocrisy. How much? <laughs> a thousand. <laughs> You kill my friends for one thousand dollars. How much do you charge to kill someone? I personally decided to spare him. There isn't really a point in killing the junkie. The act of mercy sent Nico on a redemption arc. He decided to quit his life of crime and forget about the past. After the Nerdikov problem is dealt with, the game poses you with two choices. First to kill Dimitri or make a deal with him. I chose the latter thinking it'd make more sense from Nico's point of view. Nobody would hold a grudge and have any reason to come after him. When we get word that the brown is good, we'll give up the cash. You know what? I thought... Why should we hand over the age for this price? I thought it'd be easier if I just killed those guys and kept it. Easier for who? What the fuck are you doing? To nobody's surprise, Nerdico fucks us over again, stealing the product from the buyer to keep it while we're stuck retrieving the money. We managed to make it out alive with the money from the meeting. If they got tipped off before Dimitri called us, we would have been fucked. It would have been an execution. Dimitri likes to set up executions. You gonna kill him then? No, it's over for me. I'm out. Good luck to you, man. I hope it works out. Later, Roman has a wedding. I mean, Roman has a funeral. There are no good endings in this story. If you decide to kill the nerd, Damas Italians will shoot Kate, Nico's new love interest. If you do a deal with him, he assassinates Roman. Naturally, we hunt him down straight after. This is where Nico starts showing strong signs of assimilation. Welcome to America. Speak English. Despite how tragic the story really is, to me it doesn't feel like it. Somehow it's extremely heartwarming. I believe this is a video game equivalency of joking about a bad situation. This form of coping with grim reality is especially common in Slavic cultures. Picture your fuck. Picture it's raining and you have to spend a day outside. You'd say something like, "Good thing it's raining. I didn't feel like being dry anyway." Is this the famous Jon Snow everyone talks about? This sort of thing is omnipresent in the game. From ironic billboard ads, radio broadcasts, company names, you know, piss washer. The bank ad literally says spend, pay, go ahead, spend. Also, this game doesn't even feel like it came out in 2008, considering its insane levels of detail. Last time I played it on a shit laptop back in like 2010 and was definitely too young to understand any of it, often resorting to mass shootings. Coming back to the game after so many years, it really is way better than I remember. Whatever it is, it makes GTA the most for... <laughs> Fuck, what? Whatever it is, it makes GTA 4 the most based thing. 